Tell us about your secret gym sessions. I've, I heard at Marisburg that you had some sneaky gym sessions. You know, when the gym was shut, you'd sort of take the key and, and, and go do your own personal workouts at a young age. Yeah, so the, the head, the step, or the, what do you call it, deputy headmaster's son was a good mate of mine. And um, he obviously got a key cut for us. And uh, yeah, we just used to go in the evenings because obviously we had slots in the gym and you couldn't always get in. So yeah, we just, I suppose, found a solution and got a key cut and we used to go there in the evening in the evenings with the lights off and just get some work done. What, what makes South African schoolboy rugby so special? Or is it the same? I mean, you've traveled around the world, mm. but there is something about it, the, the, the traditions or people always seem to remember. I do think that the, you know, the, the, the schools, the tradition of the schools, you know, your, your so-called rugby schools are strong. Mm. And, and, and those traditions keep the rugby strong. You know, the, um, the kind of interest that the old boys show in coming back and, and adding, you know, value to that environment, you know, sometimes providing funds to, to help upkeep, um, you know, whether it's facilities or whatever, that I think is, is a big part of it. And make no mistake, you know, and, and whether you with, agree with it or not, and I, and I don't think I totally agree with it, but it's extremely professional environments currently. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's a high performance yeah. environment. It's a lot more serious. These yeah. schools, yeah. yeah. So um, I think it's a, it's a big part of why the Springbok team is successful mm. is because of, you know, these, I mean, just the example of Jesse, him sneaking into the gym to be able to do more work. You know, you, 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 you create a work ethic where, um, working hard is a standard, you know, putting in the effort is a standard, it's a given and you know, nothing less will be accepted. And I think it starts at schoolboy level uh, so that when the guys get to the Springbok level, you know, it's, it's kind of ingrained. And uh, I think it's, you know, that element of it is really good, but there's a, there's a massive pressure element to, to I think, that. I, I well. think it's also the way our schools are structured. So if you're in the UK, you're not probably not going to play rugby at your school. Yes, a little bit at your school, they but your club, mm. you move yeah. to your club at a younger age. So we hear everything happens at school. You know, so you, know, you go from sex, you go to, you know, sex high, you're playing rugby every single week, you know, like we, Paul Jim, or mm. I come from Ijuris, and you get there. Mm. In Paul, it's unique because you've got such two big schools in quite a small town, and for one week in the year, the town gets divided in two parts, yeah, you so. know. Um, and, and I think it plays such a big role in the community, not only there, but I think in all the towns where there's a big institution like A. Bishops or Irona Bosch, you know, like separate by a few kilometers here, but on Derby Day, you know, this part of the suburb sort of splits in two halves. So I think because of our structure and because of the tradition in these schools, you know, like Sax is nearly turning 200 years old mm -hmm. up top, Paul Jim's, what's it, 165, 170. Yeah. 170. Um, and it's, uh, you just form a part of history. And, and I guess the youngsters sort of understand that they custodians of that jersey, that Paul Jim jersey during that week. And you know, to add to the part of history, so like we all love go watching, mm. love watching it, and also you know it's on television nowadays, so mm. you sort of yeah. can stay up to date with the players, and you follow it on whether it's on your iPad or on yeah. on, on on Super Sport. The thing you also got to realize is there's so many good people um, within the school structures. I mean, if I look back to when I was in school, I mean, our head coach Ryan Strudwick. I mean, you guys must have played against Strudders. Strudders, yeah. Um, he's I think he's at my class now, but I mean, he used to drive me out of his own uh, willingness to, to KZN trials, to um, KwaZulu-Natal schoolboy trials. So he, uh, he would let me, take me all the way down to Durban, we'd stay there um, at, his, at his place in Durban. He'd take me to trials, let me finish playing my trials and then take me back to, to Maritzburg, you know? So I think there's a lot of good people involved in, in the schoolboy rugby setup. And I, I think like John spoke about community, I think that's what maybe differentiates our schoolboy rugby to maybe anywhere else in the world. I think. The people involved really want to see the, the boys go on and, and make a success and, and they'll do anything, um, in, I suppose, in their powers to help the guys go on and, and, and do well. So I think I was very fortunate to have really good people surrounding me and that were willing to help with not, to not obviously get anything in return, which is something that's I mean, really special. Those people shape you, eh? 100%. I, mean, you, yeah, you, yeah. I can just see in your eye, you know, the way you speak about Ryan. Yeah. Is there's there's kind of uh, uh, um, gratitude in what he did mm. for you to be able to sit here today. Yeah, and I mean, I, and he's he's one of the people. You know, there's so many other people, yeah. but I mean, like, just I mean, I still thank him to the day every time I see him because it's I think people like that, like John says, that shape kind of shape your future. You know, because yeah. if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be able to make the trials. You know, so it was uh, he pick us up from boarding school, take us to to the trials, and it's just I think people like that go very under the radar and don't really get. 
the credit that they deserve at, at schoolboy level. And there's lots of them all around the country. Yeah, and I need to tell this story because it's a, it's an unbelievable story. Because sometimes it's not even, and I remember my coaches, Kelly, yeah. you remember your coach, uh, the coach at school as well. And they might not have been the best coaches, but at the yeah. time you think, managed, yeah, yeah. They're, the, they're the most unbelievable yeah. because yeah. they believe in you, you know, mm -hmm. and they, you know, they, 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 they trust you, they, yeah. and, and you just think they're the best. 